Welcome back. This is Autofocus, your weekly auto TV news and features magazine. We have the recently held second leg of the 2013 STV ARCC on Spotlight this week. So you've met the winners of the 2013 STV Auto Rally Corporate Challenge. Join us in congratulating them one more time. But aside from the winners, we'd like you to hear from more of the event's participants. For some, this is a yearly event that is prepared for. For others, it's a first-time experience and a rather unique one. To all of you, thank you very much for participating. More Sampaguita Rally on time all the time next year. Here now are some of the responses we were able to get as we made our rounds of the venue after the awards ceremony. It was actually quite fun. I was surprised that we were asked to do that athlete's pledge because I'm not really an athlete and I don't really race. So yeah, it's quite exhilarating to wear that Toyota shirt and you know, really participate in a full-blown race. It's more difficult than I thought. It was really stressful inside the car, although we're still friends after, so thank God. <laughs> well, I was part navigator, part timer, but then when we weren't able to find the third time checker, <laughs> we were like, okay, should we end this now or should we go on? Well, my teammates and I just went on with the race, even if we weren't able to have our time checked for the third one. And yeah, we're grateful that we're alive and we're still friends. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to the next year's race. Hopefully they will invite us again. <laughs> the hardest part was trying to check your speed while you're trying to check the road signs because when you're driving and you don't really know where you're heading to and you don't know where to look for the time checker, well, that's quite difficult doing all those things all at the same time. And when, when you succumb to stress, well, it makes everything else difficult. So yeah, you should just try to keep your head cool while on the road and try to be on time all the time. It's always been a fun activity. And what's amazing about this activity is that Butch Gamboa or Sunshine Television is able to gather all the major brands, all the brands, automotive brands together in harmony, you know, although we're competing for the race, actually it's not a race, it's about safety driving, arriving at the destination in time all the time, so it's not really getting so, uh, running so fast. What's so exciting about this is everybody, all the brands, you know, are all together having fun together and uh, although we're competing, more of enjoyment than really competing against each other. So at the end of the day, we're all happy, like right now after the event, everybody's here. All brands are seated in one table, exchanging notes. I admire Ray Butch Gamboa's advocacy in, uh, in uh, road safety. And I think it is, it is only him who can orchestrate such magnitude, such participation of all brands in one place. So he is the icon. He is the idol, I call him idol. I think he's the only person who can do it right now. Well, we've been participating in this event since the uh, year one, and uh, we are on year five. Definitely, uh, what we have started, we will, to con we will continue to do. Well, it was very fun. Uh, we actually knew how to take the route this year, and we did not do a PowerPoint. So that was good. I think we did good time. We just did not win. Actually, we had a great time. It was a very, very fun experience. Doing this uh, rally is always great. It always taxes your uh, skill. And it always gives you uh, another perspective on how to drive properly. And I was driving the IS350F Sport. I was one of the best cars in the world. I was perfect. I was driving the whole time. This is one of the best rallies we've ever done. In the overall experience, we've been um, driving or in rallying already for um, in this kind of type of rally, Sampaguita Rally, for the past uh, three years. This year, for us, it's been uh, very good for our team. We've teamed up. Um, the rally has been very good. We enjoyed it. It's a bit um, longer than the last segment in Tagaytay, but uh, this one in Subic is longer and it's um, a bit more leisurely this time. Well, road safety is very nice 
to apply here in um, the Subic uh, course because um, you do. We all know that uh, we do follow a lot of traffic rules when we are in this area, and it's nice to remember that um, we do have to be courteous in the road and something that it's very nice to apply also when we get to Metro Manila. So it is a good reminder that um, Subic holds very good discipline in uh, road safety and throughout the rally that's what we've tried to follow. It's uh, been very nice for the competitors to follow and enjoy and still you know have a good experience in the rally. I hope um, our sponsors uh, like Hyundai who's supporting us is, uh, will be We'll be looking out for for us uh, for us to join again, and um, we'll see. Um, I think it's looking good for next year. First of all, it was a very challenging race. Um, uh, both legs were um, a lot longer, but you know it didn't feel that long. Um, just because we were just in tune with the, the the route book, you know, we were just just uh, focused on the next turn and well, where to go next and the time that we had to take to go to the next checkpoint. So you know, it was a very difficult race, um, very challenging, and. Um, you know, I think um, it was much closer this year um, among the competitors. I mean, you know, for once we were actually, I think we were doing well. But, you know, the competition was just so tight that, you know, we, the difference between the teams were just like two, three seconds apart. Wow, you know, it was an incredibly fun race. You know, I think having done this for several years, you know, you slowly get the hang of it. And then, you know, like this year, we were, we were really on top of our game. But, you know, the competition was just so tough. Uh, well, you know, we were <laughs> out of the top three, definitely. But it was fun, you know, always a learning experience. And, you know, it's always nice to drive around here in Subic with the beautiful roads, with the excellent course plan by um, George Ramirez and, um, of course, the great organization by Sunshine TV. So, um, you know, this is one of those sporting events that you don't want to miss because it's very accessible to every, every kind of driver. So, um, definitely an experience to remember. Well, uh, unang una, Salamat uli sa STV. Salamat kay Ray Boots, uh, Elvis Gumboa. Idol natin. Ang maganda kay uh, Elvis, hindi niya pinababayaan yung mga baby niya eh. Katulad nitong uh, Caltex STV Corporate Challenge Automotive uh, Rally. Ano na ito? Institution na ito eh. So ika nga, si Elvis Gumboa, mahal niya yung mga ginagawa niya. Hindi niya basta pinababayaan. I am really very... Uh, happy and proud of uh, Mr. Gamboa because of his love for the institution that is the STV Corporate Challenge and uh, ang winning naman o victory naman sa isang competition secondary lang yun eh ang mahalaga dito yung samahan yung nagsasama-sama lahat yung mga car companies under an atmosphere of friendly competition ika nga yung uh, samahan yung friendship nandun lagi eh. although mahigpit ang labanan sa bentahan ng kotse pero pagdating ng STV Corporate Challenge Rally magkakasama lahat yakapan ng yakapan kwentuhan ng kwentuhan sa gabi after the awarding ceremonies para tayong makakapatid ang pagkakaibiganan ang samahan ang friendship and lasting relations ng rally na ito ni Elvis Gumboa talagang saludo ako mabuhay ang uh, Caltex STV Corporate Challenge Auto Rally. Many more to come. Mabuhay! More than just driving cars and getting the best times, the event was a great time for old friends to convene and for new friends to be made. The atmosphere was lively as people recounted the day's events, all the while toasting to the winners and toasting to having a fun time while being prudent and responsible motorists. Here now are some of anecdotes for your enjoyment. This is my first experience to join uh, this event. I just uh, came to Philippines two months ago. Then uh, I'm very lucky to see this, uh, to uh, attend this uh, event. Then I'm very impressed. So you, uh, in Philippines, you have such a very interesting and very nice event. Oh, everyone is very friendly. Yeah, and uh, I understand that everyone is uh, even like a uh, car uh, and uh, everyone enjoy. And also, I am en I enjoy very much uh, when I watch people. Yeah. 
This is a very uh, different experience for me. Uh, this is my first time to join the ARCC uh, rally. The two legs are, uh, have given me much knowledge on, on how to be on time all the time. I'd like to thank uh, Honda Philippines for having me as uh, one of their participants and uh, hopefully they would join the, the 2014. It's just really teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. Uh, we got a lot of Peugeot owners, uh, some guests, and of course some members of the media. And uh, they came together, talked about what to do, and basically it was just coming together and making sure that you achieve the results that you want to achieve. And uh, all through teamwork. We're really happy how, how everything turned out. It's about the experience of uh, driving in a uh, natural environment. Yeah, I, I, I believe that uh, it was a very good opportunity to, uh, to showcase our cars. Because we had run Subic twice before, so I didn't want to do the usual things they were expecting. So I changed some of that and at the same time we went beyond the, the Morong Gate of uh, Subic right? and we went into Bataan, into the Bataan Techno Park which by the way they are really so helpful. It's a nice place, the scenery is fantastic and I, that's what I wanted them to enjoy. The roads were great so it was a nice drive, lots of winding hill roads and stuff and then really breathtaking views you know which they've never seen right. So. It was something different, so I, that's what I wanted to do, that, that's the thing. And then uh, I changed the way we lay out the checkpoints, again to be unexpected. It's like throwing a whole different twist to it, right? Big gaps and then tight, they put them in sequence afterwards together and stuff like that. So just totally unexpected. But this is one of the easiest places actually to, to do it. It's very convenient and this mall was really great, they were so helpful. It was a great park for me, the parking was fantastic, the starting line was fantastic, the way it merged into the roads, everything, it was very good. I got different types of feedback, some people like certain things, others, other things, right? But the amazing thing about it is how they are all getting so competitive. You know, we had what, that was I think five perfect, out of ten, five checkpoints were perfect scores. And the others were like one demerit, two demerits. The biggest one I think was a uh, five demerit, you know, that's it. Team Mini, uh, those guys are serious, they practice, they really put in the hours and the hard work into what they want to do, they're so focused. Those guys started green, they were newbies into the sport and my god, they are so spot on man, two years in a row, really, really good. the spirit of this competition keeps the participants close and creates more bonds than breaks them is truly amazing. It is heated competition but like we mentioned earlier, it is truly friendly. And all the participants can attest to this. And the common sentiment shared by the crowd, they can't wait for the 2014 edition of the STV ARCC. That was our special coverage of the 2013 STV Auto Rally Corporate Challenge. We here at Sunshine Television indeed hope that you have enjoyed it and that it has given you a different take on motorsport road safety. I'd like to thank Chevron's Caltex with the Cron. Also to our gracious host and venue, Ayala Harbor Point Mall, the SBMA organization, all the auto manufacturers, participants, and all groups and individuals involved in the carrying out of this event. From the bottom of my heart, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. This has been your host, Ray Butch Gamboa, saying so long for now, and remember, be on time, all the time. Cheers.